the Gospel of Mark, the cost of discipleship, Mark 8, 34-35, Introduction, 1. At the beginning of his ministry, Jesus called people to become his disciples, a. such as Simon and Andrew, Mark 1, 16-18, b. also James and John, Mark 1, 19-20, 2. At the conclusion of his ministry, Jesus sent his apostles to make more disciples. A. To make disciples of all the nations. Matthew 28, 19. B. Teaching them to observe all that he commanded. Matthew 28, 20. 3. In the text for this lesson, we find Jesus discussing the issue of discipleship. A. Having just predicted his own suffering, death, and resurrection. Mark 8 31. B. Telling his disciples and others what is the cost of discipleship. Mark 8 34 35. He called the multitude to himself with his disciples, and said to them, Whoever wants to come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. And whoever will lose his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. Mark 8 34-35 1. One must deny self. A. What it means. 1. To deny sinful self, ungodliness, and worldly lusts. And part with them, and his former sinful companions, which were as a part of himself, Gill. 2. To deny righteous self, and renounce all his own works of righteousness, in the business of justification and salvation. I bid. To deny self with its self-righteous pride and sinful lust from dominating you. B. How it's manifested. 1. Denying sinful self, expounded by Peter. A. Abstaining from fleshly lusts. 1 Peter 2 12 B. No longer living like the rest of the world. 1 Peter 4, 1 4. 2. Denying righteous self, exemplified by Paul. A. Who had much about which he could have boasted. Philippians 3, 4 6. B. But chose to put all his trust in Christ. Philippians 3, 7-14 In precept and practice, the apostles tell us what it means to deny self. 2. One must take up his cross. A. What it means. 1. To voluntarily and decisively accept the pain, shame, and persecution that is going to be one's particular mode. It's not someone else's lot because of his loyalty to Christ and his cause. Hendrickson. 2. To cheerfully receive, and patiently bear, every affliction and evil, however shameful and painful it may be, which is appointed for him, and he is called unto, which is his peculiar cross, as every Christian has his own, to which he should quietly submit, and carry, with an entire resignation to the will of God, in imitation of his Lord, Gill. 3. The cross is to be born daily, indicating Jesus was speaking metaphorically. Luke 9.23. To gladly endure whatever hardship one may receive in service to Christ. B. How it's manifested. 1. In the case of the apostles. A. What they all endured. 1 Corinthians 4, 9-13 B. What Paul in particular endured. 2 Corinthians 11, 23-29 2. In our case, it may involve being A. Ridiculed 1 Peter 4, 4 B. Reviled spoken evil of, excluded 1 Peter 4, 4 Matthew 5:11, Luke 6:22, C. Reproached. 1 Peter 4:14, 4, 
all the while, rejoicing that one is honored to suffer for Christ. 1 Peter 4.16 Acts 5.40-42 3 One must follow Jesus. A. What it means. 1. To become his disciple, seeking to become like him. Luke 6.40 Romans 8, 29 and 13, 14. 2. To accept him as Lord, doing what he says. Luke 6, 46. Colossians 3, 17. 3. To walk in his footsteps, even at great cost. 1 Peter 2, 21-25. To become a Christian, to let Jesus be your Lord and mentor. B. How it's manifested. 1. Obeying the Gospel of Christ. Matthew 28, 19. Mark 16, 15-16. Acts 2, 38 and 22, 16. 2. Observing all he and his apostles commanded. Matthew 28, 20. Acts 2, 42. 1 Corinthians 14, 37. 3 ever growing in the grace and knowledge of Christ. 2 Peter 3.18 Putting Jesus on in baptism, and then living with him. Galatians 3.27 and 2.20 Conclusion 1. The cost of discipleship may seem rather high. A. One must deny self. B. One must take up one's cross. C. One must follow Jesus. 2. But as Jesus explains, there are only two choices. Mark 8.35 A. One can try to save his life himself, but will end up losing it. John 8.24 B. One can lose his life for Jesus' sake and the Gospels, and wind up saving it. Revelation 2.10 for whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. Mark 8.35 In view of eternity, there is only one viable choice, endure the high cost of discipleship, and receive the blessings of eternal life. The end. The Gospel of Mark. The cost of discipleship. Mark 8.34-35